In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the nozzle on your 3D printer. I'm going to demonstrate on an Ender 3 version 2, but this method works for any 3D printer that doesn't have an all metal hot end. The only things you'll need for this are the tools that came with your 3D printer, the new nozzle that you want to put in, and ideally a heat proof glove. I use a cheap leather glove that does the job. There are a couple of reasons why you might want to change your nozzle. Over time, nozzles get worn out, especially if you use more abrasive filaments like carbon fiber or a wood infused PLA. If you haven't changed your nozzle in a while, keep an eye out for extrusion inconsistencies, stringing, and general deterioration in print quality. The other reason why you may want to change your nozzle is that you may want to use a different size. You can use a smaller nozzle to improve your print quality, or alternatively, if quality isn't as important, you can go to a bigger nozzle to speed up your print. Whatever your reason for changing the nozzle, first you'll need to heat up your hot end to just above the temperature that you've been printing with. This is to ensure that you're going to melt any of the plastic that's still in the nozzle or on the threads. Remove the filament from your printer, as I showed you in my video on loading and removing filament, or alternatively, do a cold pull to try and get as much filament out of the nozzle as possible. Adjust up your Z height by about 120 millimeters using the move function. Remove the plastic hot end cover by undoing the small screw in the middle at the back of the hot end carriage. As you remove the cover, you may need to undo a cable tie and pull the sleeving back to be able to fully move the cover out of the way. The next thing to do is to remove the nozzle. This is where you have to be careful as you're dealing with very hot parts. Put on your glove and then decide where you're going to put the hot nozzle when you remove it. Remove the silicon cover. Remove any filament off the nozzle now while it's hot as it won't be so easy once it's cooled down. You can also run the nozzle cleaning needle through the nozzle now to try and clean out the hole. If you have a lot of material on the outside of the nozzle, then use a damp cloth or even a brass wire brush. Don't be too heavy handed with the brush though, because brass nozzles can get worn out quite easily. Now you can use the open ended spanner that came in the toolkit with your printer to undo the nozzle, but I find that this tool works much better. You're much less likely to slip and round off the nozzle, and also you don't have to actually touch the hot nozzle when it comes out of the printer. Links are down below if you'd like to buy one yourself. Just check the size of your nozzle before ordering one, because different manufacturers do actually use different sizes. Hold your heat block still with an adjustable spanner or something similar that will hold it still without damaging it. If you're not sure which way to turn the nozzle, it needs to go anti-clockwise as you look at the end of it, which obviously most of us won't be. If you're looking from this kind of angle, then the handle of your spanner or socket wrench needs to go to the left. Unscrew your nozzle all the way and remove it. You now have about 30 seconds to clean off any excess material from the threads before it cools down. If you're enjoying this video, then hit like and think about subscribing. I make regular content to help with 3D printing and other projects. When you're ready to fit your new nozzle, just check that your hot end is still up to temperature and then thread the nozzle in a couple of threads and leave it for about 30 seconds. This allows it to heat up to the same temperature as the hot end. And if it's a nozzle that you've used before, melt any filament that's left on the threads. This is to avoid doing any damage to your heat block. After letting it heat up, spin the nozzle all the way until it stops and then back it off one complete turn. Now check to see if you can push the Bowden tube at the top of your hot end down at all. This is to make sure it's pressed up hard against the back of the nozzle and doesn't leave any gaps for filament to fill. Now final tighten the nozzle while holding the heat block still, but don't crank it up too hard. Most heat blocks are aluminium and doing it up too tight will actually strip the threads out of it. Refit your silicon sock and then the hot end cover. Now you've successfully changed your nozzle, but before you print, don't forget to tram or level your bed. There's a good chance that your new nozzle will be a slightly different size to your old one, and so you'll need to adjust your Z height. Click here if you'd like to see another video relating to the Ender 3 version 2, or click here for another video you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.